All right, hello everyone. Today we're gonna to go over the structures of the pig heart. So I have one here from our a and lab, and we're just gonna go through the structures that you will be asked to identify in future quizzes. Um, all right, so first it's a good idea to figure out what is anterior and what is posterior. So what I like to do is look for this place where a lot of the vessels have been cut, um, because obviously when the heart was dissected out of the pig, a lot of things had to be cut. Um, to get it out. So I look for all of these places where there's a lot of cuts and that's how I know that it's posterior. Um, all right, so here would have been where the vena cava would have lied. Um, that had to be cut out. A lot of the pulmonary vessels had to be cut. Um, so that's kind of how I um, recognize posterior and then anterior, a little bit cleaner, um, less has been cut away. Um, all right, and we can also identify the base and apex. So the base is going to be the superior portion of the heart, and the apex is going to be where um, inferior, where that point comes at the bottom. All right. Um, now let's go through some of the structures, especially the ones that have to do with the pass pathway of blood through the heart. Um, so I'll try to go in order there um, and pick up some extra structures as we go along. All right, so first let's start with the right atrium. So that's gonna be um, seen on the posterior side. You can see it right here. So this structure here, like I said, the vena cava would have connected to the right atrium so that um, deoxygenated blood could get dumped into the right atrium. Um, however, that had to be cut out. Um, but you can see this big opening, this flap here is going to be the atrium, the right atrium. All right, and then from the right atrium, we're gonna go down, we're gonna open it up, and we're gonna see this here is the right ventricle. All right, so this big space here. All right, and between the right atrium and the right ventricle is going to be, of course, a uh, valve, an AV valve. And this valve is gonna be the tricuspid valve. All right, so you can see the flaps here. Um, and those flaps are connected to the heart muscle through the chordae tendinae. So the stringy pieces that connect the flaps down to the heart muscle are gonna be the chordae tendinae. You can see them a little bit better on the other side. Um, we'll get to that later. All right, and then those chordae tendinae connect to papillary muscles in the heart muscle. All right, so papillary muscles are gonna be pulling those chordae tendinae, which pull those valves. Okay, so down into the after that valve is down into the right ventricle, like we said. And then from the right ventricle, we're going to move into the pulmonary system. So the right ventricle is gonna to lead to the pulmonary valve, which we can see through this little flap here that we cut out because it's a little bit higher up. All right, so it's a little bit hard to see, but you can see some of the flaps in there, hopefully. Um, that's gonna be the pulmonary semilunar valve. And then from there, we're gonna move into the pulmonary trunk. So you can see this piece here, I'm sticking my fingers through. Um, that's gonna be the pulmonary trunk, which would lead out into the pulmonary arteries. So we can't really see the pulmonary arteries because they had to be cut away, but you do have to know that that is the next step um, in the pathway. So from the pulmonary arteries, that's gonna lead to the lungs where the blood is going to pick up oxygen and lead back through the pulmonary veins. Pulmonary veins have also been cut out of this structure of the heart, but those pulmonary veins are gonna lead into the left atrium. And that's, we can see here on the anterior side. So this flap here, and you can see kind of where it was cut, where that opening is, okay? So from the left atrium, we're going to go into the left ventricle. All right, so that's gonna be this one here. So a good thing to note is that the left ventricle has to pump a lot more blood um, out or all that blood out to the rest of the body. So it's going to have a much thicker myocardium surrounding it than the right atrium because the right, or excuse me, the right ventricle, because the right ventricle is only pumping to the lungs and to the pulmonary system. So it's not as far of a distance. Whereas the left ventricle, as we'll say, as we'll get to in a moment, is pumping out through the aorta and into the rest of the body and has to uh, maintain the blood pressure throughout the body so that the blood can get to, you know, all the way down to our feet and is also um, 
has to maintain that pressure so that blood can come back up through the body against gravity and back into the heart. So the left ventricle is gonna have a lot more myocardium surrounding it. Um, that's a good way to tell um, if you're looking at right and left. All right, so like we said, right atrium into the right ventricle and it's gonna pass through a valve um, and that's going to be the bicuspid valve or mitral valve, either is fine. So like we said before, we have the flaps here. This one's a little bit easier to see, hopefully. And the little strings are gonna be the chordae tendinae. All right, and then those are gonna lead down into the papillary muscles. All right. From the left ventricle, it's going to move up into the aortic valve. Might be a little bit tricky to see, but there you go. You can see it there. Um, there's the aortic valve, the flaps, and that's gonna lead all the way up to the aorta, which is gonna be this big vessel here. All right, and the aorta um, is going to arch here. This is the ascending aorta, and then the arch, and then if we had the full structure, it would um, descend down to the rest of the body. And there are vessels that you don't have to worry about knowing, but vessels that come off of the aorta to circulate through the um, upper extremities and head and neck. All right, so that's gonna cover um, the structures of the heart in terms of pathway. Uh, another thing to know is that between the ventricles, we have the intraventricular septum. So that's just going to be the space that divides the ventricles. All right, while we're here, here is one of the smaller heart, hearts that we have in the lab. So you can see a bit of a size difference, um, but obviously have the same structures. They are both pig hearts. Um, so let's go through some of the structures on here. So this is going to be anterior um, and this right here is going to be the right atrium. So you can kind of see the vena cava on this one. Let's see. And I can tell because if I kind of stick my finger through it, I'm also sticking it through the um, atrium. And it'll come down through the right atrium and right ventricle. Um, so here is gonna be the vena cava into the right atrium, open it up. We can see the right ventricle and the valves. It's a little bit harder to see here, um, but you can kind of see some of the flaps. Um, and then if we go here, the little cutout is gonna be where the pulmonary valve is, up to the pulmonary trunk, which would lead out into the pulmonary arteries and then lungs. Lungs are going to send blood through the pulmonary veins and lead us to, you can kind of, there we go, here, um, the left atrium. So remember this structure here and we'll open it up. And then from the left atrium, we'll move into through the bicuspid valve or mitral valve and into the left ventricle. You can see a lot more myocardium around the left ventricle, then around the right ventricle. And then we'll move up into the aortic valve, which is gonna be found in there. And this aorta is not as long, but this is gonna be the aorta here. So remember pulmonary trunk here, aorta will be here. All right, so now we're gonna go through a couple of questions um, similar to what you might be asked on a quiz. So for example, you might be asked to identify, let's say um, this structure here. All right, so go ahead and try to do it yourself uh, and pause if you need to, but this is going to be the right ventricle. So remember when we open it up, we can see the ventricles here and this one has less myocardium as I've said a couple times now around it than versus the left ventricle. All right, so um, you might be asked to identify a structure such as the right ventricle and then you may be asked, um, where did the blood come from before this structure? All right, what is the structure directly before the right ventricle in the pathway of blood? Um, and that would be, pause if you need to, to think about it, the tricuspid valve. All right, so valves are included in that 
question. So right atrium would actually be an incorrect answer. Although you are on, you have the right, you're on the right track. You have the right idea. You do need to include the valve. So before the right ventricle, it's going to be the tricuspid valve. And then you might be asked, where does blood go after it is in the right ventricle? All right. And that's going to be through the pulmonary semilunar valve. All right. And into the pulmonary system. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, we can do another one. Let's move over to this heart. Um, what is, let's see, this structure here. All right, this is going to be the left atrium. All right, so where is blood going to travel after it leaves the left atrium? That's going to be down through to the bicuspid valve or mitral valve. And then they might ask, where did blood come before the left atrium? And that would be the pulmonary veins. All right. So hopefully um, that wasn't too bad. Go ahead. And if you want, you can even go back through this video and um, mute the audio and um, watch them yourself and kind of quiz yourself and say the structures as I point to them. Um, and hopefully that was helpful.